The former swimming superstar, 27, is one of few celebrities with achondroplasia, a form of dwarfism. Ellie competed in her first Paralympics in 2008 aged just 13, winning gold in the 100m and 400m freestyle events. But she said before the hit Saturday night BBC show, she would experience name-calling on the streets. Ellie said, Yeah I'm not going to lie, it has happened, definitely, and I know so many people in the dwarfism community that get that on a daily basis. It still happens even now, but it is changing. At the end of the day, when they see someone looks different, you do get the stares and things. But now when I go out in the streets, the support has been amazing and the response phenomenal. At the moment it has made things better. She added, TV is so powerful and that's why representation is so important, you saw that with Rose. 2021 Strictly winner Rose Ailing Ellis, 27, who is deaf, last year. I'm not just representing myself, but the dwarfism community and the disability community. And if I can create change, people like myself in the streets don't get the stares, they don't get the name calling, the abuse. If I could just change one person's life, that is so powerful. Ellie lives in Cheshire with her partner, Matt Dean, who also has dwarfism. Matt's parents, Arthur and Penny Dean, who have the condition, started the Dwarf Sports Association, which is how Matt and Ellie met. They have now been a couple for two years. Matt encouraged Ellie to take part in Strictly, but he prefers to stay out of the spotlight. Even though Ellie has not been able to go home for weeks, he is regularly in the Strictly audience supporting Ellie and dance partner Nikita Kuzmin. Ellie said of Matt, he's not really sporty, he likes football, but he's the total opposite. And she revealed she keeps her dances secret from him, as well as friends and family. She said, I want it to be a surprise. So on a Saturday night they're like, oh. At the start they were like, you can actually dance. I was like, I'm alright, yes. I'm just trying to focus on my dancing. I'm all about going out there on a Saturday night and representing myself and the disability and dwarfism community. I am so proud to go out and represent, but I think people are seeing me for who I am, Ellie, my personality. It's been a long line of firsts for Ellie, the youngest British Paralympian at the Beijing Games, the youngest person to be awarded a MBE at 14, four years later she scooped an OBE dash and the first with dwarfism to compete on Strictly Come Dancing in the UK. Ellie is 4 feet while her pro dance partner, Ukrainian Nikita, is 5 feet 9 inches. But these days they are both past that. Nikita, 24, said, Honestly, I find it weird now to dance with an average height person. Ellie added, At the start he was trying to figure out adaptations, but now he knows what moves I can do, which moves I can't do. It's really nice he's just so used to me now, 